<laughs> Drive it. Try it out. Whoa. Wrong stick. Oh. It's a waterproof transmitter. <laughs> Bunch of cool fish. Bye, Felicia.
got on the back. You have no GoPro, man. <laughs> well, I guess it's really all to it. I mean, it's a waterproof transfer. I'm not really sure I can make this video a little bit more exciting or any longer. But hey, it is what it is. Now, uh, I will be releasing the design files as is right now. I don't really have really any more time to retouch it because there are some some slightly errors in like the design work what shut up steven i'm trying to finish this up <laughs> well, what was i saying but back to this there are some slight design flaws mainly with some of the measurements but i won't really have any time while i'm on vacation workcation actually to fix this and uh yeah i do apologize for the late upload uh it's really hard to find internet around here and my stuff's been breaking left right my mavic is toast this camera broke a lens and I had to get a new one, which is what I'm shooting with right now. But yeah, the design will come out. I probably will revisit this sometime in the future, but that won't be for quite a while, because it still works. It just mainly you have to grind some stuff around and measure it a little bit and play with it. Also, wood is maybe not the best choice, but it does look cool for a transmitter, mainly because there's some swelling going on. You can kind of see a little bit of the swelling from the salt water and that. I didn't really put enough of the polyurethane on it to make, completely seal it up because I actually rushed this. I built this the day right before we left for Thailand. Also, a big shout out to Banggood for sending me the uh, FSI6 transmitter to, that I used to gut and make this thing out of. It's actually kind of a nice transmitter to use. It's like a basic six channel radio. I also can fly airplanes with this too because this is just like a standard mode to RC transmitter. Uh, some slight notes with running in salt water. Um, you definitely want to oil it more with the Corrosion X because. Uh, when this thing went under salt water for a period of time, eventually these sticks started to stop work on some of the channels, so I had to spray some, re-oil them, and then they work back to normal. So just be prepared to do that. But yeah, I guess that's it. So be sure to like, subscribe, do what the new end card says. I promise I have a lot more cool content coming, but it may be a little while before I can get to it. Internet is very spotty, especially with places where I'm going to be going. But I will see you guys later.